Good morning and good afternoon. My name is Daniel Felipe Triño. I'm from Bogota. I study uh, systems and computing engineering at Universidad de los Andes. And I am one of the leaders at the student robotics initiative, Robocall. We are Robocall. So first of all, who are we? Who are Robocall? We are a team of more than 60 students and from more than seven majors, but we are united by just one passion, which is the passion to learn, to practice our skills in engineering and to apply them in the development of engineering projects, specifically in robotics projects. We are the oldest and largest student initiative in the University of Los Andes. And our main objective is to train our members professionally and technically. As a result of this, we are working currently in three projects, which are the submarine, the drone, which is uh, built by the team of aerial reconnaissance, and the rover, which we call Roberto for comedic purposes. Our values are innovation, learning, excellence, integrity, resilience, and teamwork. And I would say that in the last months, our most important value has had to be resilience because we have had to endure periods of difficulties within the team from external factors, internal factors, but we have stood uh, with our head high in order to achieve our objectives. So I want to talk to you a bit about our history. So we are going to go a few years back in time to speak about our past and more specifically the rubber project, which is the oldest and most developed of the three projects. So going two years back in time, for mechanical engineering students, an electrical engineering student, and a professor who trusted the students, these guys got together to build robots and use what they had learned in their courses, in their engineering courses. They went to a NASA competition uh, in which they had to collect sand in the moon. They had to simulate that they were collecting sand on the moon. Although they worked very hard that year they, in order to reach the competition, they didn't get the result they wanted. The robot didn't even move. They worked very hard for three years. The project grew and finally they got fourth place. This is what we call our goal there. Unfortunately, this competition from NASA closed its doors to international participants. Now only American teams could participate. And that left our team without a, di a direction. That, that left us a bit aimless. During that time, uh, the team wanted to have social impact, which has always been one of our main focuses. So we wanted to reach out to younger generations, specific, specifically kids uh, in schools in our city in Bogota. So uh, this project was called Domobotics and the methodology was that our members, our leaders went to schools and they gave courses and lectures in robotics. Now, after we couldn't participate in the NASA competition in the US and with a completely new team with new leaders and a new vision, we wanted to participate in a new competition which is called the European Rubber Challenge. Now, we just didn't have the LunaBot, which is the sand extractor but a uh, Mars exploration rover, which we called REMU, the rover de exploración marciana uniandina. And our next stop was in Poland. So in 2018, with these new members, we wanted to classify for the first time in this competition. And we managed to get a team of 16 of our members to go to Poland to participate. However, because of a lot of problems, they only got second to last place. Not satisfied with the result on their flight back to Colombia, they realized that something needed to change. Then came the next chapter, which is the pandemic. These big changes 
allowed us to restructure our team into new, new subsystems, into new groups with new leaders and a new ambition, a new mission, a new vision, and a new strategy. Uh, but the pandemic changed everything for all of us, as we know. So in 2020, during the pandemic, only five members were left in the team and they had to put the tap for a vocal. With their efforts, the team grew to up to 50 people and new ideas were created, new passion was reignited. And during the pandemic, we participated in a virtual edition of the European Rubber Challenge in which we got third place, which has been our greatest victory to date. So we endured during all these failures in the United States, in Poland. And finally, during the pandemic, during the hardest time, we were able to emerge from, from those failures with victory. After that, with a completely new generation, which we'll call the third generation of Rollcoil, we wanted to finally get to the United States again. We wanted to go to University Robert Challenge. And for that, we traveled to one of the most iconic and beautiful deserts in Colombia, which is El Desierto de la Tatacoa, so that we could prepare to then go to Utah. So by this time, I had already got into university and into the team. So this is more close to the present day. So we conducted a pilot test in the desert of the Tatacoa with the help of Campamento Orion, Orion Camp, which led to the national competition, Robbers Odyssey, uh, which I'll talk to you later about, and which will be held this year, later in June. With the experiences we gained in the pilot test, we were able to finally qualify to University Rubber Challenge, which has, had, which has always been our greatest dream. And we became the first team in South America to classify to this competition, which, made us very, feel very motivated, despite only obtaining the 26th place. Now let's come back to the present. Now with this generation, with everything I have said so far, it is clear to see that our journey to carry out aerospace projects, the rubber project has not been easy. There has been a lot of ups and downs in the development of these technologies. And today we can proudly say that we belong to the fourth generation of Robocall and that the goal we have has been maintained over time, despite the fact that each generation has changed a bit. They have changed their mentality, their methodology of work, but we have always built on top of what the previous generation left for us. Each time using new methodologies, more systems engineering, more organizational, better organizational structures, better engineering, better design processes. And these are our most important values today, which are resilience. Again, resilience has been very important for us, integrity and learning. So this is us when we began, and this is us today. The area of robotics in Colombia is a complicated scenario, despite the fact that there are several groups interested and dedicated to the development of these types of technology. Our hope, our dream, is that we aim to be pioneers and we want to lead in the robotics scenario in Colombia so that more teams can take on the challenge internationally. Perdón, Daniel, now, tengo que to finish. Excuse me, excuse me, Daniel, I have to to cut you because uh, I have to go to the organization. Thank you very much.